YouTube, what's up? It's your boy, Scuba Steve. I'm back. I want to know how many of you have ever heard this when it comes down to discus and rams. Just keep your pH steady, man. They'll be just fine, dude. Ah. Oh, man. This stuff just kills me. Guys, stay with me. I'm going to tell you why your conductivity in your water is killing your rams. Stay with me, guys. You're going to want to watch this. Yeah. Kicks. Kicks. somebody offers you the tip of maintaining a steady and stable pH and nothing else matters they never offer you any type of reason why okay and anybody following this advice tends to think that as long as I keep my water parameter steady and stable no matter what it is my fish are going to be just fine okay here are the facts the facts are that a rams internal body fluid and the concentration of that body fluid is the same as it's always been from the time that the very first German blue rams were made captive they still have the same exact body fluid concentrations that they need to maintain and this is through a process called osmoregulation this is science osmoregulation Look it up, do a little bit of research on it. I promise you this will take you a step further into understanding the science behind <clears throat> why rams don't do well inside of hard water. Okay, the, the, the higher the conductivity of the water, normally you're also your, your pH is gonna chase that. The higher the conductivity of the water, the, the harder a ram has to work in order to maintain the ideal body fluid concentrations. Again, that's done through a process called osmoregulation. So they are not meant to live in extremely hard water. And what happens is the harder the water is, the greater the os osmotic effect is, okay? So it needs to be here. If it's a little bit higher, okay. If it's, if it's a little bit lower, you know, okay. But if it's here or there, Okay, where it's just too much and, and, and the, os, the osmotic difference is, is, is too much. This is what stresses out your fish. And stress inside of fish, okay, this brings on the secondary problems. It's having to continuously work and it has to work so hard to try to maintain its proper body fluid concentration. And this is what brings on secondary problems. This is what brings on bacterial ulcerations, this is what brings on flagellates, this is what brings on all kinds of a plethora of other problems. This is why people think that they're difficult to keep. They're really, really not if you just follow a few simple rules. Measure the TDS, measure the conductivity in your water, measure your GH, your general hardness, measure your KH, okay, and try to keep their water soft. The softer that you keep their water, okay, the happier they're going to be. They're not difficult to keep, they're very easy to keep, but you do have to follow those rules. And for every channel that I've ever seen saying, hey man, pH doesn't matter, do you just keep it stable? I have never heard not one of these people say, you know what, here's why it doesn't matter. The most common thing I hear is that, oh, well they've been, you know, uh, hobby raised for blah, 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 and this is why, you know, blah, blah, blah. This, this is wrong. Okay, this is this is completely inaccurate, and it's not backed by anything except they're just regurgitating some 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 garbage that they heard from somebody else. This right here is wrong, and when you have when you have fish that come from extremely soft water, okay, then their body fluid concentration that they need to maintain the softer you have that water, the less that fish has to work at osmoregulation, okay, which means the less stress that's going to be placed upon the fish. Guys, this is the science behind why we need to keep our water soft when keeping rams. If you follow this, if you, if you, if you take this one tip and put it in, you know, do me a favor. The next person that you see or the next video that you see that says, hey, you know, they'll do fine in any pH, ask them why. Okay, ask them why. Challenge that person. Challenge them to tell you why. 
and I don't want to hear about aquarium stores. I don't, you know what? Aquarium stores. I've talked to my local, my, my, my local aquarium store. They, when when they get fish in, what they plan on doing with the fish is they plan on going ahead and selling them. Okay, and I've even heard breeders say that what they do before they get ready to send the fish to a store is they'll gradually start lowering the temperature of the tank so that when they actually get the fish to the store, the fish isn't just completely shocked, okay, by the water temperature that they're going to be put into, okay? okay. There, is a, there are a number of rules, but if you just follow the basic ones, okay, including maintaining a soft water tank, I promise you guys, they'll thrive, their colors will pop, they'll spawn, they'll be much more active, and they'll live a long and healthy life.